Here inside the Kiwi Cavs just wrapped up practice. Three games of the NBA Finals down. Cavs coming off a 30-point win against the Golden State Warriors. And Chris, they won without Kevin Love. It was the first game in the Finals that they didn't have Kevin Love. So what happens now when it comes to Love? Tyron Lue is going to have the most difficult decision of his young head coaching career. Uh, I obviously have a, you know, I think you know, I have a rationale of what I think he should do. Okay. But should I, yes. should I reveal yes. that now? Look, this is the NBA Finals. Uh, it's not all about sparing feelings right now. You have to go with what works. Right now, I think what gives them the best chance to win against this team is keeping the lineup they had in game three. Because you, as you know, when Kevin Love starts the game, they like to get him involved, try to go, to, go into him and see if he can get involved. And that kind of freezes everybody else out. Game three, they just play freely and fluid. And I, I think that's the best approach right now. Joe, how does uh, Lou's decision on Love impact LeBron James, if at all? Well, I guess it does. I mean, if he decides to go back to the lineup that he's used throughout the playoffs, then mm -hmm. theoretically that moves LeBron off of Draymond Green, which if you're just going by what you saw in Game 3 would be a mistake. Uh, you know, Draymond was on, on pace to be the Finals MVP, and LeBron took him out. Um, certainly just mitigated the, the green effect. And so you would think, however they work in Kevin, whether it's as a starter or not, that LeBron's got to stay on, on Draymond. The Cavs obviously heard the narrative. They knew the questions were coming. They all said, we're better with Kevin. We'll find out what Ty does game four.